Hey folks, this is Engineer775 um, bringing you another prepper tip or just a sustainable energy tip having to do with solar energy and solar module or solar panel placement. Where do you put your solar array? Do you put it on your roof? Do you put it on your on the ground on a pole? Do you ground mount it? There's a lot of considerations to take into play, place here. Um, the Some things you might not have considered, um, one being security. Uh, you know, I mean, typically you have to put your solar panels where you get the most sun and that makes them highly visible most of the time. But if you can, place your solar panels in a place where they're not highly visible from the road or from anywhere else. And so when you walk your piece of property, that's something to consider. So take into account your security, take into account wire runs, how far do you have to run from the solar to where you're going to tie it into the to the grid possibly or to your battery bank so there's cost involved there take into account shading the tree line um, and then also take into account seasonal production and what I mean by that and that's the reason I'm doing this video on December 21st is this is kind of the worst time of the year for solar output we all know that the sun is lower on the horizon you have a smaller window of opportunity to gather that solar um, power and so you want to this time of year is a good time to walk that piece of property and I'm gonna show you with some three three simple tools now you can hire a solar company come in and do an evaluation but if you want to just kinda of figure this out yourself you don't need to buy any fancy apps or buy any equipment really you need a compass a protractor and a couple little tools I like solar azimuth it's a free app you can download it to do a solar evaluation so it allows me to do it today on a rainy day it's raining right now so I'm going to show you some of those tools and um, based on that how to pick a location. Now there's all the, there's a lot of trade-offs in terms of um, where it's going to go, can it be protected, um, you know certain times of the day you might get some shading, you might have to cut some trees down or move some things. So um, anyway that's what I wanted to share with you. I had it on my calendar to share with you folks uh, today, the shortest day of the year in terms of sunlight. Uh, what to do, where to push your, put your solar um, arrays. So uh, let me show you a few tools. I'm going to step out of the rain to do that though. Okay, the first tool I'm showing you is, uh, this is just called Smart Compass and I just, this is a tablet and I um, just wanted to show you a few things on it. And what you want to be able to determine is the azimuth. You can see the degrees on any compass. You can use any compass and you want to um, have a decent compass that uh, you can do your evaluation with. The other app, let me show you that. It's simply a smart protractor. So you're gonna there are certain times of the day when you're going to for, for instance that the sun is not going to be uh, more than 21 degrees in elevation um, and so you want to basically wherever your solar ray is going to go you're going to line up along that and and you can easily tell if that is going to clear your tree line at say 21 21 degrees so you're going to kind of be the solar array for this experiment you stand where the potential array is going to go you can get up on your roof you can stand out in the pasture whatever so smart protractor smart compass and then the last one okay the last one is called sun azimuth I don't know if you can see that there sun azimuth and gives you position and I'm not going to show you my GPS coordinates though anybody's easy to find in the world today um, but I am going to map and I'm zooming in on where I was standing out in the pasture and it tells me exactly at 10 o'clock in the morning that this that's the direction that the sun is at and it also tells me so 1017 which is the time right now and my elevation of the sun will be 23.76 and the azimuth I can use my um, compass to line up and know that's where the sun is going to be so is my solar array if I placed it at that yellow dot going to receive enough sun will I go out to that location and then I take my compass my protractor and see if the sun clears the trees. If it doesn't, well, I might need to move up here, and I move over here, or move over here, and then I can check. And I'm like, I know that this is going to be horrible because I got a lot of trees right there, so I might need to come out here, and I might need to check another time. So, 
hold on a second. What I can do is check. I want to check um, in the afternoon. I can punch in the time. Am I going to get sun at at say three three seventeen in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon? So I'm going to map that. Now you can see how my azimuth actually changed, and so then I got to know at with 19.43 degrees in my protractor at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and there's my azimuth so with my compass protractor and the time of the day from this program called sun azimuth then I can determine if those if that solar ray is going to still get production at that time and which time it does not I'm also looking at this site in terms of line of sight to the road and I have some trees that are going to block me right here I want to I want to be in this area so I'm also looking for visual blocking from a security standpoint so there's a lot to take into account and then I'm looking at the distance from there to my meter base on my barn so I want to tie in with power so I got to calculate my voltage drop so you know preliminary site evaluation site of uh, evals are very important if you're a, a prepper and taking into consideration all these different variables um, you'll, you'll be upset with yourself if you put your solar in a, in a place that's highly visible or you put it in a place where you're getting half the production. If you had moved it 50 feet and you could get 30% more production, it's worth doing this. But you can do it with a few simple tools. This is the time of year that makes it work um, worthwhile to do some walking around your property with some simple tools and I have them all on my tablet so I can have I can okay I'm set up for my azimuth I'm checking my tree shading I'm using my smart compass and um, that's it so I'm um, hopefully hopefully that's helpful to you if you're new to solar now you can hire somebody to come in and do a production evaluation and they can shoot the tree line and they can get real fancy but you're able to do this yourself with free tools and start to plan you know what I would do then at that yellow dot uh, for me is that I would build a building there that building would do two things it would be the mount for the solar panels it would house the inverter chargers and the and the battery bank that way I can convert that DC power right there into AC and then take it kinda of along the red line over to my building so I don't have the voltage drop issue that you do with DC power so there's uh, hopefully I covered most of the things. I mean, there's a lot. There can be a lot more to it, but that's that's basically it. Now, if you have a portable solar system, not an issue. You can move it to wherever you want. So, all right. So simple tools, and again, smart compass works real well, and also the smart protractor, and then you can eyeball along the top of your tablet or whatever and you can just you can use manual compasses and manual protractors I just I just have this when I go to uh, a site it's kinda handy that I can do it all with my tablet and do a quick evaluation you do not want to install any solar rays in a place where two months out of the year you're getting no solar production alright folks this is engineer 775 signing off